people with disabilities and the elderly are the largest minority in the world. There are different disabilities such as visual, hearing, cognitive, communication disabilities, and more. During the COVID-19 crisis, remote health care services have become much more common. We are all learning to adjust to a new reality with COVID-19. During remote service, you can't necessarily see the disability and still remote services have to be accessible too. Remote services can solve problems and challenges of people with disabilities when used correctly. But when not used correctly, they can make it more difficult for them. During telephone services, it is important to speak slowly and clearly from a quiet room. This will help those who have difficulties hearing what is said. It is important to speak in simple language. If the patient doesn't understand, try different words. For example, what is your temperature? Do you have fever? It is also important for someone who has difficulties understanding and for those who have difficulties hearing. Phone services are not good for everyone. If someone has difficulties hearing, speaking, or gets stressed out by phone calls, offer them service through written messages. For services through messages, it is important to use clear and simple language. Avoid using shortcuts or medical terms that the patient might not understand. When providing a service through messages, it is important to write all the information and make it as short as possible. Services through messages are not good for everyone. If someone has difficulties typing or reading or needs to hear your voice, offer service by phone or by video call. Try to get back to the patient at the time you schedule. Punctual service helps to ease anxiety, and it is important for those who asked another person to be with them during the conversation. Try to get back to the patient via the channel that is comfortable for them. If you are not sure what the right one is for the patient, ask. The use of technologies can be complicated for some elderly people and some people with disabilities. Consider allowing a visit to the clinic, even if it's not necessary, despite the risk of COVID-19, in order to avoid delaying treatment due to difficulties with technology. When using video chat, try to follow these guidelines or contact Access Israel for more information about accessibility in video chats. Remember, providing accessible service depends on each and every one of you. Act respectfully and be sensitive to all patients who come to you. For further information, contact the Accessibility Coordinator. Dear service providers, together we can provide quality, accessible, and equal service to all.